bring his feet comfortably. And then just take a few deep breaths. So lengthening through the whole spine, okay, taking the shoulders back, okay, relax your neck, and move back of the head slightly back to elongate your neck. Just close your eyes and notice your whole body. Deepen your breath. And we just take a few deep breaths. Breathing deep into the abdomen, middle chest, upper chest. And as you exhale, exaggerate. Draw your tummy muscles in. Exhale, pull. And again, inhale, breathing deep. Expand in all directions. And as you exhale, squeeze your tummy muscles in. And so on. Deep, comfortable breath. And keep your breath deep and flowing through the rest of the practice. On your next inhale, open your eyes, relax your arms and your legs, and come on your course. We do five rounds of the cut and the cow stretch. A little bit more to the side. Okay. Let's do cut and the cow stretch. You have your hands beneath your shoulders, knees beneath the hips. Okay. And let's lengthen first and then soften between the shoulder blades. Inhale and look up. And as you exhale, chin to your chest and round. Inhale, up and down. Lift your heart, look up. And again, exhale and jump. Inhale, up and down. Lift your heart. And continue nice and easy movements. Just to release all the tension you may have. And start to warm up. Lovely, gentle movements. Let's do one small. Very good. And then bring your back parallel to the floor in neutral position. And then look at your hands. Put your left hand beneath your face and step forward with your left foot. Left foot forward. And let's take that back knee back with ease. So your right knee back, just a little bit more with ease. If you have that easy space, okay. Move your hands to the right side. Inhale, and as you exhale, soften and melt between the shoulder blades to max your neck. And I want you to lift your tummy muscles up just to support your lower back. Take a moment. Okay. And if you feel okay, this is easy, I want to take my hands wider, go wider with your hands, go on your finger pads, soften between your shoulder blades a little more, and perhaps even lift your back knee off the floor. So this is your lizard pose. Okay. Squeeze the legs towards the knee line. Hold on. On your next inhale, lift your chin, move your hands beneath your face. We're going to step up on all fours. Step back. And again, let's do cut in the cow straight. Inhale, look up. Exhale, and round. And again, inhale, look up. Exhale, and round. Bring your back parallel to the floor. Look at your hands. Now move your right hand towards your face and step forward with your right foot outside of your right hand. Now let's take that back knee back with ease again. Okay, and move your hands 45 degrees to the left. Let's soften and melt between the shoulder blades. Okay, and if it's easy, and you can take your hands wider and go on the finger pads, and again, squeeze your shoulder blades and the back, and perhaps even straighten your back leg. You lift your back knee off the floor. You go a little lower with your chest. Relax your neck. Take another deep breath. And then move your hands back beneath your face, step back. And we do again, cut and the cow stretch. Inhale, look up. Exhale and round. And again, inhale, look up. Exhale and round. And let's come up to down facing dog, push the hips high. Thigh ones back, heels down, and you can sport walk if you wish, or just stay there and enjoy a good stretch with the whole back of the body. Sport walk if you wish. 
Take a deep breath. And then inhale, come up high on your tiptoes. Look between your hands, bend your knees and walk towards your hands. Knee into your forward bend, squeeze your legs. Take your hands to the hips, lift your elbows and your shoulders, lift your chin, come up standing, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze your legs and come up standing. And then exhale, relax your arms, relax your shoulders, loosen up. Okay, and we do a lovely side stretch. Inhale, lift your arms upwards, hold your right cheek, lengthen, and pull yourself to the left. Just have a good stretch there and bend your knees. And if it's all right with your balance, step back with your right foot and go for a little bit more side stretch. Okay, deep breath. And then come back. Inhale, come back, change your side. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pull yourself to the right. And if that's okay, bend your knees and stand back and go a little bit more for the side stretch. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Inhale and come back. Exhale, relax your arms and just roll your shoulders again. Soften and loosen up. That's great. So let's go into the forward bend and I'm going to show you this forward bend. You're going to take feet very wide. And when you go into a forward bend, you're going to draw the legs towards the knee line. You're going to push the hips back and finger pads on the floor. You're going to see a walk slow forward and forward with your finger pads. Hips moving back. Have a three, four deep breath and then move your hands beneath your face. And we're going to do a gentle twist. We're going to push the hips back. Lengthen through the sides and we're going to stretch one arm. Breathe, another arm, breathe, and when you come up, call your shins and slide your hands upwards. Okay, so let's do it together. Squeeze the legs, inhale, exhale, push the hips back, hold forward. Raise lightly, touching the floor with your finger pads, and you push the hips back and back and back and back. Have a good stretch, no much. Hips moving back, you have lovely stretch for your hamstrings. For inner thighs, another deep breath, and then slide your hands beneath your face. Now lift your right hand beneath your face, left hand from the hips, push the hips back, and then look to your left. Stretch your left arm up, and maybe even look up at your left arm. Take a deep breath, and then exhale, look down, change your hands. Left hand beneath your face, right hand from the hips. Push the hips back, look to the side, and then stretch your arm upwards. Inhale, and maybe even look up at your thumb. Push the hips back a little bit more, a little bit more. Keep the length. Inhale. And as you exhale, look down, touch the floor, and then move your hands to your shins. Squeeze the legs, slide your hands up the legs and come up standing. And then look at your feet, zigzag your feet together, zigzag, 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 and give a little shake to your legs. Okay, well done, guys. And we're going to the squats. So I'm just going to show you first. So if your knees vulnerable and you're not sure about your knees, so what I suggest, alternatively, the chair pose looks like that. This is lovely for the knees. So you have space between your knees, you're pushing the hips back, and if you feel your okay, knees, still not comfortable, lift your toes upwards, that engages all the shin muscles. So support your knees with your, with your muscles and you stay here. And then sit lower and then come back and do it again and again. Or if you're happy to go into the squat and your knees okay with that, take your feet very wide. Okay. Like, if you, like the um, width of your mat if you're using your yoga mat. Okay. And let's change your arms in front. Let's do it together. Inhale. And as you exhale, let's go halfway. Just taste in the water. Push the hips back, just halfway. Okay, well done. And then we're going to come back. Inhale, come back. Again, exhale, just a little lower. Or again, halfway. Okay, very good. And then come up. Inhale, lift. Lovely, inhale. And as you exhale, maybe even lower. And then bring your hands together. With your elbows, can you move your knees a little wider? Yeah, and again, if your knees not not happy, lift your toes upwards, and you want to squeeze the legs 
towards the midline. You want to engage your tummy muscles to very strong, deep breath. You can stop here, or maybe take that right shoulder to your right knee and look at your left knee. And maybe even stretch your arms, take a deep breath. And then exhale and come back to the middle. Okay. Again, elbows against your knees. If you're still okay doing this, left shoulder to your left knee, look at your right knee. And maybe stretch your arms wide. The inhale. Exhale, come back to the middle. Okay, now we're going to sit on the floor. And if you need to hold the floor, hold the floor with your hands and sit. And then stretch your legs in front. And give your legs a little shake. Just lean back and shake your legs. Relax, relax, relax. And let's go into the forward bend. So let's bend that knee, point your toes, and take your heel into the groin, and then adjust the space between the sitting bones. Yeah, and check your back. How's the back doing? Are you sitting straight upright effortlessly? If not, sit on the block or on folded blanket. Yeah, let's check that front leg. Press your heel into the floor, spread your toes. Inhale, lengthen. This is the length you want. Exhale, folding forward. This is one option. Just holding the floor behind. Your back is nice and comfortable, straight. Or um, maybe you can hold your foot with one hand. Take another hand in front of your knee. You, again, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, soften between your shoulder blades. Okay. Or maybe you can hold your foot with two hands. Go for this movement. And again, inhale, lengthen, lengthen. Exhale and soften, reach forward, relax the neck. And again, inhale, lengthening away from the hips. Exhale and folding over that front leg. Deep breathing. Remember that you don't have to do everything. If you feel you need to come up and stay here for your forward bend, that's also good. Take another deep breath. And then we're going to come up. Inhale and lift. Let's relax legs. Again, shake your legs. Shake, 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 relax, soften, and reach inside. So let's do the left leg. I'm going to turn for you, your left leg. Point your toes, heel into the groin. Yeah. And let's again make all the adjustments. Feel your seeking points, ground it. Take that front heel, press your heel into the floor, spread your toes. Inhale and stretch. Exhale, the heart reaching forward. And again, inhale and lengthen. Exhale, reach forward. Yeah, and if you can easily hold your foot, hold your foot with one hand perhaps, or maybe two hands. Okay, and continue using your breath. Inhale, lengthening through the sides. Exhale, softening between the shoulder blades. How's your neck doing? Soften your neck, relax. Lengthen forward. Again, inhale, stretching. Exhale, folding, keeping this length. Another deep breath. And then come up. Inhale and come up. Exhale, relax your legs and give your legs a little shake. Just relax, shake, shake, shake your legs. Great. And then watch me for a moment. Okay, so what we're going to do next, we're going to work a little bit more stretching the front of the thigh. So we started to stretch and we're going to go into the virasana posture, but virasana called hero pose. And the hero pose for me associated with the strong knees. So, and we want to keep the muscles around the knee joints. Flexible and strong, that means your knee joints are going to be flexible and strong. So we're going to do these movements. Okay, so if you follow me, lean to your right side and you take your legs to the left. Okay, just to the left like that. And then you take that left foot and point to the wall behind. So if I sit like that sideways to you now, so on the side it looks like that. So you're pointing your toes back. Okay, and that hip lifted. That's okay, lifting that hip. Watch your knee, okay? If this is not suitable, you don't have to do this posture. We're going to try to press the front of the foot, the toenails into the floor. Inhale and lengthen. So this is the length you want. Keep that length. 
And we're going to encourage the thigh bone to move back and down towards the floor. So basically we want to sit next to that foot on the floor. Keep working that foot. Press your foot into the floor. Press, press, press. Give what you need. Okay. You shouldn't work through the pain. Stop where you feel pain. So me is somewhere here. So, okay, I'm not sitting on the floor completely on this side. And I know that this is just me. I'm accepting where I am at the moment. Okay, take a moment. Keep pressing that leg into the floor, that foot into the floor. Press, press, press. Okay, and then come back. Stretch your legs. Give your legs a little shake. Okay, this is just the preparation. Okay, little warm up. Okay, and we do the same on the other side. So, lean into the left. And take your now right foot pointing behind. To the wall behind you. So I'm going to spy place behind me. So again, if I sit sideways, it looks like that. You press your toes into the floor, the toenails, the front of the foot, take your hand to the hip, the inhale and lengthen. This is what you want, this lens. Exhale, push the hip back and down. Okay, keep working that foot. Press your foot into the floor, press, press, press. Okay, lengthen. And it doesn't matter how far you go. I want you to listen to that right knee. So listen to your right knee. It doesn't matter how far you go. Okay, not working on the pain. Feel good stretch on the front of the thigh. You have lots of engagement on your shin muscle, on your muscles around the shin. Okay, well done. And then come out. Come out, shake your legs. So give your legs a little shake. Relax, relax, relax. Okay, I'm going to try to sit now. In the, in the asana posture, I have your blocks here, blocks and bricks here. So if you don't have your uh, yoga blocks or bricks, so you might want just to use folding blankets or a couple of cushions from the sofa. And we're going to do this. Watch me, please. So we're going to do this. We're going to take knees, hips width apart, and your feet widen. So this is where your folded blanket or yoga blocks go. So just for your sitting bones, you're going to sit on it between your feet. Okay. Or maybe you're very flexible and you can sit on the floor. That's also possible. So you're going to check thighs parallel, thighs parallel, knees, hips, knees apart. Okay. Inhale. And as you exhale, you're going to press the front of the feet into the floor, squeeze the legs and sit back. So your legs working hard. So block or fold the blanket just for your sitting bones there. Okay. And let's check. There's this little space, little arch. The ankle joints lifted off the floor. You want to keep that little space. Think about feet pressing into the floor. Look at your thighs and you want to squeeze your thighs. So we call it muscle energy. So the, all the energy in the legs drawing towards the midline and have very strong and steady muscles here to support your joints. Okay, how's everyone doing? Yeah. Don't worry if you need to sit on extra support. If your knee is not happy, take extra support and sit on it. That's okay. Just take as many props as you need. Blocks, bricks, cushions, blankets. Okay. And I'm happy just on one block. And we're going to stretch arms. Arms upwards. Each of your fingers and your two hands if that's appropriate. And keep lengthening. And let's think about these legs your shins, your feet, pressing into the floor and you're trying to lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Okay. And you can close your eyes if you wish and keep lengthening, bringing your attention inwards. This is the hero pose. And maybe think about what the hero represents to you. Being a hero, what it means to you. Maybe just staying at home in this situation, in this life situation, just staying at home and being here at home. Containing the spread of the virus. Or maybe something different. Okay, inhale. And as you exhale, come on your all fours and we're going to stretch the back of the knees like that. If you're not sure, toes on the floor and you push the heel back. Stretch the back of the leg. Great. And then change, take another leg. 
Jaw is on the floor, push the heel back and stretch the stretch. Don't send the back of the leg. Very good. And we come up to down facing dog. So move, maybe move that block to the side. We come back again to here, pose. We just want to stretch in down facing dog. So down facing dog, feel good stretch for the back of the legs. It's lovely after the hero pose to elongate the back of the legs now, not the front of the legs. So it is counter pose for the hero pose. Just take a moment. Press all finger parts into the floor, four corners of the hands, and extend your thigh bones back. On your next inhale, come up on your tiptoes, bring your knees down, and do second chant. Okay, knees, hips, meet apart. Take the block or blanket again between your feet. You press your feet into the floor, squeeze your shins, and you can sit between your feet. Okay, keep your legs working. So again, if you look at your thighs, you want to squeeze your thighs, squeeze towards the midline. Okay, lengthen to the sides. And let's do the eagle arms. Stretch your arms to the sides. Yeah, you bring your right arm in front, left under the elbow, and maybe bring your hands together. Then lift your elbows and draw your arms back into your shoulder joint. Okay, just take a moment here, deep breath. Extend and lengthen away from the hips. Again, inhale. Exhale, relax your arms. We're going to change the yeah. left arm now in front. Right under the elbow, hands together if possible. And again, lift your elbows, move your arms back. You can close your eyes, focus on your breath. And let's check the legs again. Legs working, press your feet into the floor. Squeeze the legs towards the midline. Okay, deep breathing. Legs working. Just pressing your feet, your shins into the floor and extending upwards. Inhale. And as you exhale, relax. Okay, come on your fours. Move that block to the side. Come up to down facing dog again. Toes under. Down facing dog. Have a good stretch. Lift your second bones high. Thigh bones moving back, you have a lovely stretch for the back of the legs. No rush. Enjoy the movements. Enjoy the stretch. Take another deep breath. And then come up high on your tiptoes. Bring your knees down to the floor. And please be seated. And then perhaps find the block. Or blanket and sit on it. Here we go. A little bit more work for the hips. And this is your posture called baby cradle pose. Okay, so let's do it together. So you take your right foot in and you look at your left and go on your left heel. So now we start easy with the easier option. Hold your heel and hold your knee. And just check. Is that okay? How's your knee doing? Maybe this is okay just now. Look at your foot, and I want you to spread your toes a lot. Draw your toes towards to your shin. Okay. And if it's easy, go under your shin, go under with your arms. Okay. And again, check that foot flex, toes active. Mm -hmm. And if this is easy, moving your foot into the crease of your arm, and then you hug your knee into the city knees. Maybe lift your foot a little higher, and then hug your knee towards your chest, and let's rock the belly leg from side to side, so nice and easy. Do a good belly leg, good yoga leg, be nice and easy. And if you feel like that's a bit too much, come back to the previous option, perhaps here or even here. And that's all right, even doing this posture, that's fine. So you still have lovely little movement here to loosen up the muscles around the hip. Okay, hold on everyone, and let's change let's change the leg okay i'm just going to check my camera okay everyone okay with, can you see me okay you can't see me okay one moment let's let's check okay of course mm -hmm. 
We can see you, Olga. It's all good. All good, yeah? Yeah, all good. <laughs> I'm glad about it. Okay. Okay, let's do another link. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do another leg. So we, we take left foot in now. Okay, and go on your right heel, then hold your heel and hold your knee. Okay, maybe this is just enough. Or going under your shin bone. Okay, maybe this is what you need. Or maybe you can move that foot into the crease of your arm and you hug your knee, interlace your fingers. And if you can lift your foot a little higher and then squeeze your leg and rock. So drop that baby leg, a good baby leg. So we just want to feel lovely stretch here around your head. Yeah. And this is the lovely preparation for the next posture, for the pigeon stretch. And this is, this is possible alignment for your front leg in the pigeon stretch. Okay, let's take another couple of deep breaths. That's great. And then stop for a moment, relax your legs, okay, and shake your legs. Give your legs a little shake, relax, relax, relax. And we do the pigeon stretch. So come on your own course. Okay, move the block to the side. Okay. And let's do it together, nice and slow. And we're going to slide the right knee to the right hand. And then look at your right foot, and you want to move your right foot just in front front of your left knee. And perhaps this is just enough. You can keep your foot flat, your toes pointed to the side, or if you can move your foot forward, like so, then you have to flex your foot and spread your toes. So just what we did in the baby cradle pose. Okay, and let's take a moment here. Inhale, look up, like you do doing your cow stretch. And like you do the cow stretch, think about this tailbone. Take your tailbone down between the sitting bones and move your tongue muscles. And let's take that back knee back with ease as far as you can. Okay, take a moment, squeeze the hips and go with your elbows on the floor. Okay, maybe this is just enough. If, if it's too much, go again on your hands. Okay, if elbow is fine, again, we're going to do the scroll stretch. And the cut stretch, you lengthen the tailbone, tummy in, check the, the space, perhaps space for your back knee to move back. And maybe even straighten your arms, forehead is on the floor. Okay. Breathe deeply, squeeze the hips, and also what you can help yourself if you touch your hips and you try to keep your hips level, try not to lean to the side. And how's your back leg doing? That back leg is not on holiday. That back leg is drawing towards the new one. Take another deep breath. And then slide your hands back, just beneath your face. And push back to down facing dog. Or come on your horse first, and then down facing dog. Take a deep breath. And I want you to compare the sides of the body, compare the legs. You might feel that one leg feels a little longer than another leg. Okay, I wonder which one, which leg feels longer. And then come back on your tiptoes, on your knees. Look at your hands. Now slide your left knee, your hand, and your foot just in front of your right knee. And maybe this is just enough. Listen to your front knee, or maybe move your foot forward and you flex your foot, spread your toes a lot. Then you do your cow stretch and then a cut stretch. Tailbone between the second ones, move your back knee back, go on your elbows. Take a moment. I want you to squeeze the hips, squeeze the squeeze, deep breath. Again, inhale, doing your cow stretch. And then like a cut stretch on your pelvis, taking your back knee back and stretch your arms forward. Forehead is on the floor. If it's too much, come back on your elbows. Elbows great option, somewhere in between. That's okay to stay on your elbows. So maybe you're here with your arms straight, forehead on the floor. And again, check your back leg working. I want you to engage your tummy muscles a little bit more also.
Another deep breath. And then slowly come back. Come back, down facing dog. Step back, down facing dog. And again, check how you feel. Hold the side of the body, hold the legs. Hold the right leg, the left leg. And maybe you feel a little bit more balanced now. And we sit into the child pose. Inhale, on your tiptoes, knees down. And sit into the child pose, knees wide, big toes touching. And let's sit back as close to your heels as possible. Hands on the floor beneath your forehead, or the fists. Okay. Or just touching the floor with your forehead. Maybe this is you. Relax. Another deep breath. And then slide your hands to your knees. Okay, well done everyone. Just watch me for the next one. We might need a, to use a belt for the next one. I'm just going to grab my strap. So I've got my strap here. Okay, so this. I have a yoga strap. You might not have a yoga strap, but don't worry. Take a scarf or, or belt from your dressing gown. That also will work. So we're going to do this. We're going to lie down and we're going to walk with the hamstrings. So you might want to just hold the back of the leg and maybe, maybe if the lower back okay, straighten your other leg like that. So maybe this is here. I'm going to stay here and then we're going to just move that leg from side to another side. Just checking your different hamstrings. Or maybe with the belt here, you want the ball of your foot, you're going to stay here and then you're going to take your leg to one side, maybe to the other side. Just checking all the muscles here, the hamstrings on the back of the leg, outside, inside. Here is the right leg. So if you want to use the belt, feel free. Okay, or just hold your leg. Raise your hands at the back. Okay, push that heel upwards. Press the hips into the floor. You want to restore the longer space. So there's a little space between your lower back and your yoga mat. And then straighten your left leg. Okay, we're going to take a couple of breaths here. Just here, stay, staying with your heel reaching up. So you already have lovely hamstring straight on the back of the leg. Or perhaps you're using the belt. The belt is also good to use. Okay, and then let's take that leg to one side. Not far. Okay. And then to another side. Just a few of another stretch. Okay. And do that a few times. So moving to one side. Feel lovely, gentle stretch. Then to another side. It's lovely to do in the evening, just nice and gentle stretch. And so on, middle, inner hamstrings. Again, middle, outer hamstrings, nice and gently, just checking. And you might find that somebody needs more stretch than on the one side. Where do you need more stretch? Like I feel like I need more my outer hamstrings, and perhaps we all need the middle of the hamstring straight. Okay. Well then, let's do once more. To one side, then to another side. And how's your tummy muscles doing? Can you squeeze your tummy muscles in? Well then, and let's change legs. Okay. I can see my phone says low battery. Okay, we're going to change leg now. Okay, let's do left leg. Left leg. Okay, belt, belt is great, or use your hands. And again, moving maybe from one side to another side. Or if you feel just you want to stop, 
somewhere on the side perhaps or stop straight with your legs straight and you want to enjoy the stretch then you can do that as well we'll just check in inner hamstrings outer hamstrings the middle continue Breathe with ease. Let's check the core muscles. Tummy muscles engaged. Okay, well done. Well done, everyone. Keep moving. Keep checking the breath. Do you need a little bit more stretch? And go perhaps a little deeper to that side. Okay, and let's come back. Come back to the middle, move the belt to the side, hug your knees, rock from side to side. Okay, gently rocking from side to side. And then roll over to your right hand side. Come up to the sitting. Okay, and we're going to finish with the twist. Okay, lovely gentle twist. And we do this one leg. So, bend your right. Take your right foot outside of the left. Just hug that knee and sit straight. And then inhale, right arm. Exhale, placing your finger pads behind you closer to your sacrum. On your next inhale, left arm, inhale. Exhale, hook your elbow over the knee. And continue using your breath. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, shoulder back. And the finger pads perhaps moving a little higher. And again, inhale, listen in. Exhale, right shoulder moving back, opening your shoulders. Relax your neck, just lift your chin a little. Relax your neck and soften. Another deep breath. Lovely. And then come back. Come back to the middle. Hug your knee. Sitting tall and straight, shoulders back. Back of the head back and relax your neck. Change inside. So let's bend left leg. Take your left foot outside of your right. Hug your knee. Inhale, left arm. Extend. Exhale, look in behind you. And again, inhale, straighten, lengthen. Exhale, shoulder back. Straighten your right arm. And see if you can hook your elbow over the knee. And continue. Inhale, extend. Exhale, open your shoulder. Okay, listen to your body. Again, inhale, extend. Exhale, shoulder back. Inhale, lengthen in. Exhale, your shoulder moving back. Take another deep breath. And then come back. Come back to the center. Hug your knee for a moment. Take your shoulders back, take your ears back, and relax your legs to soften. And then stretch your legs. And loosen up your legs, just shake your legs. Relax, relax. So we're going to practice final relaxation next. So if you would like to lie down on the floor and cover yourself with a blanket, that would be very nice. Okay. Or maybe put your socks on, jumpers on if you wish. 